Hello, and welcome to another episode of Average Guitar Tutorials with your host and mine, Josh Pike, teaching you only Josh Pike songs. Uh, I wanted to teach you a song called Private Education, which is one that's been requested a few times on YouTube. But first of all, I just want to pay tribute to a recent haircut that I had uh, in the coastal town that I currently am living in. It's called the Coastal Mullet. Check it out. They just shave the sides and leave the back there. I just wanted to point that out. So this is a song called Private Education. It's not about having a private education. I went to a public school. Um, but it is about the education that you go through privately when it comes to relationships or indeed anything else in life. So let's get into it. This song is pretty easy actually. It's based around just a few chords. Uh, the first is B flat. But I play it up here on the 8th fret. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8th fret. Uh, we have G, we have C, and A minor. That's pretty much it. And D minor. So, there's just a couple of different voicings that I use, which I guess give it that distinctive JP sound. Here to help. So the main riff is this. So you get that little melody line that was kind of covered on the on the organ as well in the in the recorded version of it. So we're up on the eighth fret and we're barring the top, uh, the, the I guess the bottom two strings, the D string and the A string, with your second finger, old mate Rudy, and then we're putting our first finger down on the seventh fret on the G string to create a major chord, a major a B flat major, like this. Now to get that little uh, melody line you're using your pinky to go up onto the 9th fret on the G string and then onto the 10th the fret on the G string so it's like this and then we slide down to the 5th fret which is the G exactly the same finger pattern and we use the 3rd finger to give the that little, uh, that little whittly diddly bit. So it's the third finger on the fifth fret and then letting it off so that the first finger on the fourth fret on the G gets played. So it's like this. forgot to say you move your pinky up to the seventh fret on the G string okay and then it goes to the D minor it's pretty stretchy if you don't if you can't reach all these don't worry about it just it's the main chords are the B flat and the G okay so then we move down to D minor for the next section now you could play it like this open D minor which everyone knows or you could play a bar chord open uh, bar chord D minor I play it like this so it's essentially exactly where the B flat was but what we do is we release the low D string and we're leaving the that middle D string open right so it's your Rudy is on the 8th fret on the A string. D string is open. First finger is on the G string on the 7th fret. And then with your 3rd finger you kind of go... And then back to the B flat. Play around with that. You can muck around with any sort of little variations in there. You could go whatever you want. But that's basically this bit. So forgive me for what I've done. And forgive me for what I might do. And repeat me to everyone as I submit myself to you. 
you go to the C, so this is the chorus. You could wear me around like your B minor. Now I wouldn't mind A minor. You could ruin me in one B minor. Long night and then cast me aside. See, you could turn your mind back to your past and I couldn't change your heart. A minor, or kiss your scars. Or find your B minor there in the dark, 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 dark. So back to that. Okay, that runs through that twice. Back to the chorus again. You could wear me around like your best dress and that. So it's just C, B minor, A minor, B minor. Uh, not minor, sorry, flat, flat, flat. Not B minor, B flat. B minor, not B minor, B flat. B flat, A minor, B flat, C. Now the only variation is when it goes to the double chorus at the end, it goes like this. You could wear me around like your best dress and I wouldn't mind. You could ruin me in one long night and then cast me aside. You could turn your So back to the C. I want to learn you good. A minor. I want to read your text. I want to cut you B flat. People want to cut you best. Then back to the C. Now my caution. That's, that's pretty much the whole song. So it's a pretty, you go an octave lower for the singing. Private education. And it's not getting any cheaper. I wear the cost around like a wound And I'll try not to bleed all over you And now I usually go to the open D minor here and Then you can do a little bit of widdly diddly on the end And you can like turn your head and show off your mullet Like that And that's it So I hope you enjoyed my average guitar tutorial Tutorial of private education written by me josh pike back in 2000 and probably 2005 probably um i hope you will continue to watch average guitar tutorials with josh pike and if there's any what that you want to know how to play, play and if there's any songs that you'd like to know how to play just hit me up in the comments on youtube or indeed instagram or you can yeah that's that's actually about it that's probably the best way to reach me until next time, here to help.